Hello, welcome back to another video. We are in the Scottish Highlands today, more specifically the Glencoe Valley. And today we are heading up to the Buckle Ative Moor, where we'll be bagging two Munros today. One's called Stob Derg, and the other is called Stob Nadwar, I think. Any Scottish friends and followers, please correct me on the pronunciation of those Munros because I'm absolutely awful at pronouncing them. I have no idea how they should be pronounced, but that is where we're heading today. So we're gonna cross over the river here and head up this kind of gully all the way up to here. And as you can see, it is absolutely stunning in this valley. This house here is very famous. Not sure what it's called exactly, but loads of people come here to take photos of it. And yeah, it's a stunning part of Scotland. I'm with Hev today, who has just completed running the West Highland Way. She did it in four days, which was absolutely incredible. And she did it for the Christie Foundation. So I'm going to leave the link below. She did it in memory of my mum. Um, I'll leave our Just Giving page below. Thank you so much to all the people who have donated so far. It really does mean the world. Um, we've raised nearly 1.6 grand so far, which is just absolutely incredible. But yeah, I'll leave the link in the description. This is the first video in Scotland. Extremely excited to be here. Look at that. So we just made it to the top of Stob Deg. Please correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. As you can see, can't see a flying sausage up here. Completely clagged out. The views from up here are supposed to be absolutely incredible. So we'll just have to come back another time and see it. But it's still pretty cool with all the mist and everything. And that is a Munro. I think it sits at, how high does it sit? Sits at around, according to this, just over 3,300 feet. And I'll quickly put some photos in of what it looked like the other day because it looked incredible and it was completely clear. So I'll show them now.
this mountain and the next one which is called Stob Nadwal Dor um, and that's where we're heading to next hopefully the clag will clear a little bit and we'll get some more views but yeah overall we can't really complain about the weather because it's completely dry and it's not that cold either the other day there was snow on top of this mountain when we arrived into the Glencoe Valley so yeah it's a lot milder today so yeah really good so far the climb up here was really simple I've been really surprised with how good the footpaths are up here awesome route so far I'll catch up with you in a bit So we're just coming off stop Nadwa or Nad Nador. Please let me know in the comments if you know the correct pronunciation. But it sits just up there behind us. And as you'll have seen, once we made it to the top and on our descent, Scotland gave us a taste of what it's capable of because it was blowing an absolute hooli. The rain was coming in horizontally. It was absolutely brutal. So we got off there as quick as we possibly could. Um, but now, blue sky once it did stop raining a beautiful band of sunshine was hitting that mountain over there behind us and it was just absolutely gorgeous so scotland's given us a bit of everything on this walk today all in all it's been absolutely stunning we weren't able to see many views from the tops but sometimes it's quite nice when you have no views for a lot of the walk and then the cloud all opens up and you're just greeted with that yeah it's absolutely unreal and you can see where we've come down here and this is just so beautiful this kind of river coming off the top back down in the valley now it's a lot less windy and a lot less rainy so we now hit a footpath that runs all the way down the valley back to where the car's parked we park the car on the main road running through the glencoe valley we've got about a couple of miles back to the car now um, and I'll continue to show you 
the beautiful views on the way back to the car and I'll have a catch up with you at the end because we'll have a little talk about what Hev's done on the West Island Way the past few days. So as you can see, I'm now back in the Peak District. So we got back to the car after our hike. We were freezing cold, wet through. So we went straight to the Claque again, which is our favorite pub in Glencoe. Many of you have probably been there. So I decided to leave the outro to film another time. So here we are back in the freezing cold, wet and slightly snowy Peak District. The route we did was just absolutely amazing. When we got to the pub, we were told that the first Munro that we bagged was not called Stob Dag. It's actually pronounced Stob Jerig. So I got that one completely wrong, so I do apologize. But yeah, it was an awesome route. Scotland gave us a bit of everything on that hike. We had a bit of sunshine, we had clag, we had rain, we had wind, we had it all. It was a mega day out in the mountains. Uh, one we won't forget for a very long time. So just a quick one. I did briefly mention in the video about the amazing Hev running 157 kilometers, I think it ended up being, along the whole of the West Highland Way, which is a trail that goes from Milne Gyve all the way to Fort William. Absolutely crazy. She did it in four days. I was supposed to be doing it with her, but I got injured. So I took the car up and crewed her along the way. And yeah, we had an awesome time. Hev absolutely crushed it we got so lucky with the weather as you'll have seen from that drone footage that i showed you in this video that was on the fourth and final day and yeah she couldn't have asked for better weather for that final day because that was the day where you really do get into the mountains um so yeah it was absolutely awesome she did it all in memory of my beautiful mum who sadly passed away four years ago now and we were doing it for the christie foundation which did amazing work for my mum uh, throughout her illness um, we're currently on, I think, just shy of £1,700, which is just absolutely insane. We set ourselves a very ambitious goal of £2,000, so I'm hoping we can just crawl over that mark. Thank you so, so much for all of the donations so far. It really does mean the world. So yeah, I will leave the link in the description below if you, if you did want to donate. Any donations, like I said, means the absolute world. She did absolutely incredible. Still hasn't really sank in for her yet because I don't think she quite realises how insane running over a marathon a day in the Scottish Highlands is because, yeah, that is just amazing. So please leave a message below just letting her know. She's an amazing woman. She needs to know it. Yeah, my mum would have been so, so proud of her. Thank you so, so much for watching the video. Thank you for all of the likes, comments, subscribes. It really does mean the world. We've got loads of videos coming to the channel soon. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so, so much for watching my first ever Scottish video on the channel. Loads more to come. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.